U.S. midterm elections wrapped up last week, and the results have shown that Democrats have held on to the Senate. While the vote counting isn't finished for House of Representatives, so far it's likely that the Republicans will take the majority there. However, the Democrats didn't lose as big as many experts had warned, with a predicted red wave never materializing for the GOP. Now, what does this mean for South Korea in terms of President Biden's stance on foreign policy from this point? Let's connect with Kim hyun professor at Korea National Diplomatic Academy. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. Now that Biden will have some domestic political backing, do you think any details of the Inflation Reduction Act will change before? Many experts saw the bill as a means of rallying votes. Will there be revisions that will help pluck Korean electric car uh, makers? Uh, I don't think the uh, revision of the uh, act itself would be easy um, because uh, now it's uh, the the upper uh, uh, the Congress is uh, held by Republican Party um, and uh, you know the Democratic Party uh, still keep its maturity in the Senate. So it's pretty much divided. So if uh, any any uh, party wants to uh, revise the uh, ILA, uh, I don't think it's easy. Um, uh, the only way to change some uh, content that's related to the uh, you know uh, South Korean uh, car companies uh, is to change some of the um, you know regulations related how to implement the ILA Act, uh, but I'm not sure how much effective that uh, uh, revision would come up with South Korean companies. Uh, maybe a little bit, uh, you know, procreations of uh, uh, the ILA to be uh, effective. Um, I think that will be pretty much what uh, the South Korean government and the U.S. government can do to deal with the ILA Act when it's implemented. Um, to uh, countries, mm -hmm. uh, to, to companies like South Korea and European uh, uh, countries that's related to uh, this ILA Act. Right. Now I want to shift focus to the Korean Peninsula. Will Biden administration be able to take even bolder steps towards its goal of North Korean denuclearization on the back of these midterm results? Um, well, you, uh, the uh, U.S. government uh, mentioned that uh, if uh, you know China does not do any uh, any measures to to prevent North Korea to do something further, like uh, in nuclear test, uh, the United States has to increase and enlarge its military presence in this region, uh, which would be very burdensome, uh, you know, action by the United States from the perspective of China. So. I think the as far as the dialogue and negotiations, the U.S. posture is the same. It will not change its posture. It will stick to the original uh, attitude that it's open to North Korean dialogue, but um, everything should be uh, negotiated and discussed when the dialogue begins. So I don't think the U.S. is willing to give any any positive extra positive incentive to North Korea. Uh, uh, as a condition to uh, initiate a dialogue, uh, but rather it will stick to ex uh, uh, bolstering and strengthening extended deterrence measures to allies in this region, along with uh, bolstering sanctions, uh, especially on China. Uh, I think uh, pretty much the priority of the U.S. policy is China, so I think the U.S. will try to use the North Korea issues to, to squeeze China. Right. Now, Former President Trump is looking to run again. How will that affect the general atmosphere of U.S. politics going forward? Will he again start questioning trade agreements that the U.S. has with other countries in an attempt to get voters on his side? Um, I'm not sure if Trump is now an upper hand in, in its uh, in presidential election because now throughout this midterm election, uh, pretty much many of uh, the candidates that he supported did not succeed, uh, which came up with um, some criticisms w even within the Republican Party. And I think the, the outcome of this midterm is, uh, you know, uh, in the main because of anti-Trump atmosphere in the United States. If uh, Trump 
uh, wins and the Republican wins in the midterm elections and Trump uh, gets some momentum in his uh, presidential election in two years, uh, maybe that's not good for the United States itself. That's general atmosphere in the United States, and that has worked towards a, uh, the Democratic Party to win at the Senate. Um, so uh, I don't think, um, we'll see how it goes, but uh, who will be the Republican Party candidate for the presidents? We'll see who wins uh, the uh, you know Republican Party election, whether it's Trump or DeSantis, so we'll see how it goes. But um, maybe a little bit of adjustment is expected, even though Trump becomes a president. Uh, uh, there are a lot of ways to uh, achieve America first. You know, even uh, President Biden's policy is uh, is is gearing towards the America first. So we see how he's changed policies. His policy changed. His attitude changed over time. Right. Well, thank you so much for your insights this morning, Professor. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.